Adi Nyanku Poncho, and you may more acquire by the verse secrets. Secret has come to stay. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse number 29, Radi Asem say, All secret things belong to the Lord our God, and the ones that are revealed are revealed unto us and our generation. And you may, there is a secret. But before then, let's go for a quick break. When we are back, we'll start work. Don't go away. <music> Welcome back from that commercial break. And you may make out uh, secret has come to stay. Ko YouTube na ko subscribe to Secret TV. We are my number on the screen. It's 0249-425277. 0249-425277. Nobody picks my calls. Nobody answers my messages. I pick them and answers my messages myself. Dying in silence. A book you must get. Grab a copy now. Call the number on my screen. And then you will get a copy of this book delivered to you wherever you are in the world. I have a guest. And viewers, my guest is always your guest. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor. How are you? Hmm. Pastor, I'm not very well. You are not very well. I'm not well. Talk to me, then I'll call you. your friend is Lucy. I am into high class hookups. Maybe I will become a, a, a prostitution. That was what I used to do. You are into high class hookups. Hookups. Oh, okay. You know, I give my contacts to hotels, to clubs, pimps, and they call me and link me to people. And I charge a lot of money. I have other friends like that. I've gone through a lot. I've slept with so many people through the hookups. Hmm. The one that has given me a lot of issue is a man that I met, a married man. He called me and I met him at a place. He was in his car. I joined him and then I realized that the wife was also in the car because the woman was wearing a ring and the man was also in his ring and as soon as I got to the car he introduced himself he mentioned his name I don't want to mention it here and introduced the wife to me that that is the wife and they are interested in my services and they are going to reward me a lot of money if I agree to their terms I'm already in that work, so I agreed because of the money, the promises. He promised getting me a house of my own, buying me two cars, and they will take care of me. I just have to be there every time they call me. The first day I joined them in their car, we went to an apartment. I later found out that that was their own apartment that they have bought. Hmm. I am very ashamed of myself telling you all this, but because of what I am going through, I still have to tell you so that you will help me. I slept with the man, made love to him in the presence of the wife, hey. the first time. Hey. The wife was there. The wife was there. 
the wife was telling me what I should do. The wife was telling the husband what he should do to me. To do what? The kisses. The things he should use on me, they had other things that they used. The wife? The wife was there. She would tell me how to play with the, the husband, where to touch, what to do, the styles. And the wife? Yes. So the first time, they gave me a lot of money, about 100,000. I was very happy because my life is going to change for the better. That was what I imagined. Another time, the wife called me. I went and I realized that the man was not around and the the husband had traveled. He took, she told me that she requested for my service and not the husband. So she wanted me to have sex with her and asked me that I should come the following week with a friend, a lady friend, and I should bring a man. So the following week, I went with my lady friend and the man. And that day, the husband was around. And pastor, we did a lot of things that day. And as usual, they gave us a lot of money. What did you guys go and do there with the man and the, the two of you? We had what we call group sex. So the man will have sex with me, the man will have sex with my friend, the woman, the married woman will have sex with the, the boy I took with me. Hey. And the husband was okay with that. We were all having sex with each other. Uh, in Ghana, yeah. In Ghana. On my way. In Ghana. On my way. I can mention the no. places. Please don't bring me into trouble. On my way. Married man. His wife. Open marriage, Anna. Yes, they had an open marriage. No more agreement say for me to me be be a mope. Na niya ne ye hu wo mu ni se. For me to me contract me na me ni obi akoda na magic information abroad mu. Ena sa information nonso no mu use against microphone. Hey. Yama be bree, of course, so. But could dear, or mamma, many would be a wabble dam cry die. Yama will promise him so. Or mo ye be, or my nina. Or mo promise him so more better diamond, so a man to diamond. But a moment, Miss Ka. Cecilia Sofu, near her, my pa, and I said, My try three times. Say, my person, my worry. I want to get married. Somebody's hand go carry you one day. Somebody's hand go send you one day. Somebody's hand go call me one day. Eh, production, how did you sing that song? Somebody's son go call me one day. Some, somebody's son go, go what? Go marry me or go call me someday. Somebody's son, you. Shit. 
Na yet you edge me, sir. Somebody's uncle call me one day. Ah, somebody's uncle call me one day. I have no right to the song. Pastor, I need your help. Now there is pressure on me to get married. I tried the first time. The man died. The man I was supposed to get married to died. The second time I tried, the day I was supposed to get married, my mother died. The third one that I tried, I don't know what happened to me, and I bent my wedding gown, bent all the dresses we were supposed to use. When I came back to my senses, they told me that I went mad. Now, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether it is the man and the wife who is doing this to me or someone that I have offended. I want to get married. I want to move on. Well, you don't want to give your life to Christ. Marriage, you know, you don't want to give your life to Christ. You bent your own wedding gown. You don't want to give your life to Christ. You are you are eh, in Ghana ye. On my way. Maybe I'm a pong, me on fire today. On my way. In this country. In this country called Ghana. My country called Ghana. Or be to me in the year. And in for the boom. Hey! Me my Ghana. Yay! Hey, 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 Me kuvalo. Me kuvalo. Ghana, me kuvalo. What at all is happening to this generation? What madness is this? What madness is this? Then I'm ope. Era, then I'm ope. Then I'm ope. Uh -huh. 100,000. So much money. Where is it? Have you seen that money is not everything? Have you seen someone in jail? Your mother died on your wedding day. Right? I'm asking you a question. Yes, please. And the man died. Yes, please. And you bent your own wedding gown. Yes. Next time, we will you tea. Pastor, please help me. Media, I'm going to say, you must say, ah. Now, back up here, I buy. You're born in deliverance. Open the muses, ah. Open the muses, ah. No, I run. Open the muses, ah. I have a phone call. Guys, media, I'm going to say, this shock, I'm going to say, I'm going every shock. Tonight's secret, it was my pawn them say. And then, poor my pawn them. My pawn, my pawn, a man, married man, married woman, share and pass your together. Is that what money has made you guys become? Money has made you guys mad. Hey! Where you are sitting, the mirror will break on you. Where you are sitting in life, the mirror will break on you. It's a proverb. Have you seen? All these things are more yeno. There are spiritual implications, but you guys don't know. They are more yeno. And the baby bebo. And the assembly bebo. And the assembly bebo. Mu ready here na brand new money po. Come on me new money po. Hey, have you thought about death? Have you thought about life after death? Have you thought about the second coming of Jesus? Have you talking about what will happen to you? Were you using condom with them? Hmm. Were you using condom? Where are they now? 
Pastor, I don't know where they are. Please help me. I don't know whether they are the ones doing this to me. Mepalo, Mpai, Mapon, Mapon, Nambalaya, Mapon. Good night. Thank you.